Hey machine knitters! I'm Danielle from loveyourknittingmachine.com. I'm super excited about this video because we are going to be doing some projects using the ribber. So today I'm going to show you guys how to attach your ribber to your machine so that you can knit along with us. Alright machine knitters, so usually you have your flatbed knitting machine flat on your surface. Some of you may use the ribber clamps and that's perfectly fine. If you have your knitting machine flat, tighten to the table with some clamps, the first thing we're going to do is take those clamps off and switch them with the ribber clamps. These are the ribber clamps. You can see that they are uh, tilted here, slanted. Okay, so let's do that. Now when you put this clamp on, you'll want to put this screw right into, right into this notch. So I'm going to put that screw right into the notch and pull it forward. Then I'm going to slide it back on my table. I'm going to tighten the screw down. And it will squeeze the knitting machine right to my clamp. And then I can clamp it to the table. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so this is the case that I store my river in. Uh, it has a nice squishy uh, foam here on the bottom and the top. It's a pretty tight fit, but it works. So what I wanted to show you about your machine, when you flip it over, is you'll have one side that's going to move back and forth. You'll want to put this side in first. Although, for you guys, when you see this video, they'll be on the wrong side. So I wanted to show you that this moves back and forth and to put that side in first. We're going to be putting our brackets right into these little slots here. Okay, so here's how we do that. I'm holding my machine up. I'm putting it in the side that slides first so that I can slide this so that it lines up. And I'm going to slide it in the slot. Now we're attached. So our next step is to grab your swing handle. There's a slot underneath. Right here, this piece here, we're going to push our swing handle right up in there. So then you can just push it in, and once you get it in, it will slide back and forth. So I'm going to leave mine on H3. That's generally what we use. P3 and H3 are pretty common. Okay, on to the carriage. If you've never slid your, your carriage completely off your machine, the round part here slides right over a rod on your machine. You lift it up and over those first few needles. Now when you bring this on to your machine, it's not going to uh, fit because you have the knitter arm on. So we need to take the knitter arm off. You just unscrew the screws, slide it off, and put your ribber arm on. And then tighten down the screws. Now we need to get the carriage for our river on. It goes on the same way. You have this slide here. And it's going to go right over this rod. Tip it back so it can go over the needles. Line them up and we are in business. When you line them up, you can either lift it or it will slide right into place. And now our carriages will slide back and forth knitting together. Now there are a couple things that I need to show you. Right here is a lever. This lever allows your machine to drop down. There's one on both sides. You have it all the way down. This is not knitting. All the way up is where you want it to knit. And if you drop it down just one, one or two, but usually just one, that will be so that you can bind off or you can move the stitches. Just to give you a little bit more space. Now you can see over here, you want this bracket sitting on your table. 
You want this arm pushed up into place. So that is setting up your river. Now you are ready to knit. You um, thread it through your mast the same way you would regular knitting and the mast hasn't changed at all. So you'll want to refer to your knitting machine manual. It will tell you how to set up the river portion of your machine. But hopefully this video will help that to um, be more understandable because we, we all know how manuals can explain things. <laughs> So hopefully this video will help you get your river machine, your river set up and ready for our next project. So get out your knitting machine and give it some love this week.